Here we go, Kobe in event of evening up to the very early. Oh! And that's it! There's a fine line between confidence and cockiness, and these fighters learned it the hard way. From iconic champions to rising stars, no one is immune to the harsh lesson of the fight game. Join me as we explore the twists and turns of their journeys, uncovering the valuable insights that emerge when ego meets reality in the arena. This fighter is called Brandon Lambert and is cocky as it gets. So right at the beginning he starts walking forward with his hands down and chin wide up in the air. Lambert's gotta be a little careful right now, he's kinda getting a little cocky right now, putting his hands down, look at him. And after that he starts to provoke his opponents with actions like that. Be careful, just yelling and screaming right there, he's wasting energy and you're gonna... Lambert, another flick, jab, the bell, the end of round number one. I mean, this looks like a lot of theatrics right now for Brandon Lambert. With the left hand that time, big swing, naked there, didn't throw the jab first. Counter right hand, just misses from Jared Grant. Lambert now taking the backward step. And after eating some brutal punches, he had seen enough and cowered out of the battle. Triple jab from Grant, huge right hand and down goes Brandon Lambert. That all came from that uppercut to the body. And I don't think he's getting up. He's gonna say it was the back of the head. That was a shot to the body that hurt him. So maybe next time focus more on fighting than floundering. This dude celebrated too early and instantly paid for that. In our next case, the undefeated Adrian Brauner faced Marcus Maidana, a modern day savage of the sport and absolute warrior who lives and breathes boxing. As soon as the fight starts, Brauner immediately started showboating. Then he decided to do one of the dirtiest moves I have ever seen in the ring. And paid for it with a glancing blow in round 2. In addition, he got hit so hard that he forgot in which spot he was in. And at some point, Madonna just started to humble his opponent and take him back to kindergarten. At the end, Maidana took the victory after 12 rounds of domination. In the next one, Joe thought he was in a dance competition or something and started emoting after every shot he threw. Oh, nice overhand, right? Now he goes back to the show, but. Oh, nice spin kick. Oh, he's. Oh, we're getting a bit Connor out of him. Damage because it's, he's hard to hit. He's hard to get a hold of. Count it there. Oh! Gives Joe the opportunity to move around a bit more. Right now, he's more in a counter striking mode. Oh, locked down on that lead leg. When he gets a chance, he's kind of lifting that off the ground a bit. So, again, a lot of showboating by Joe in this first or this second round. But then he paid the ultimate price and got KO'd in spectacular fashion. Oh! This always sinks! Paul Teague has a habit of wearing a clown's mask to intimidate his opponents. But it doesn't seem to work in his favor. And here we are at his second bare knuckle fight. Where he also got humbled for his outfit. Put it together with Bergliana. This is big time, Chris. The fucking old trucks for Paul That is it! Just like that! 
Jason Solomon, the greatest showman of all time, decided to become an MMA legend by doing a full intimidation routine on his opponent. It was all confidence, but when it was time to fight, Solomon got humbled very quickly. So guys, one tip, don't be that guy. Okay guys, this should be it for the video today. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe and comment if you want to see a second part of the series. And don't forget to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.